Welcome to this reading of Honey for a Song by J. R. Robinson. One dawning day, a lady bear was walking along, humming a sweet little song, when she spotted a honey beehive off in the distance. She thought to herself, I really would love to taste that honey, but I don't want to destroy their hive, their home. What can I do? She then had a very bright idea. She was, after all, a very bright bear. I know, my song. I can trade them some honey for a song. She got up some gumption, approached the busy buzzing bees, and said, Excuse me, little buzzing bees. I am simply longing for your delicious honey, but I do not wish to disturb or damage your beautiful hive. I would love to share all that I have with you, but all that I have is my little song. Would you consider sharing your honey? if I sing you my song. The bees quickly talked it over and decided it sounded like a good deal. Other bears in the past had not been so kind. Plus, they had already made more than enough honey for the season. The bee said, why not? Let's give it a shot. Okay, lady bear, let's hear what you've got. I will sing my heart out. And so joyfully she sang and the song filled her heart and spilled out into the forest. The song was so lovely, not only did the bee start to buzz along, but nearby the bunnies did too, raccoons and foxes started singing along too. It was a very catchy song, so catchy in fact that the birds began to sing it and they carried it over the treetops and throughout the forest. The song then traveled to the edge of the forest, where the children of the village were playing nearby. Being so connected to magic and nature, the kids started singing the sweet melody right away. The grown-ups, distracted by the noise of their world, didn't hear it at first. But eventually, the chorus of the children grew so loud that they couldn't help but sing along, too. They forgot what they were arguing about and started going round to each other's houses for tea. And so in this way, the song traveled from village to village and from the village to the city and from the city to other cities. It traveled all across the continent and was carried by humans to the sea creatures who sang it to each other all throughout the mighty oceans. It reached the shores of faraway continents. The giraffes sang along, the hippo sang along, and the lions sang along too. Before long, the whole world was singing the bear's sweet song of peace. When the love was felt by all beings on earth, it then blasted off into the cosmos, filling the eternal everything until spiraling back into the forest where the bees, so pleased, flew into their hive and poured out their sweet honey for our friend the bear. And oh, honey, was it yummy. The End